my orca back. Poor idiot. Ugh. I'm undead and I can bless things. It doesn't work out well. It's a riddle, isn't it? Um, a conundrum. Uh, what's it? You'll have to solve. I thought you looked clueless, all right? Thing is, it's about the letters, isn't it? One for each thing. Uh, yeah, sure. Hope you don't die. Well, nice to meet you too. It's a crafting label. this you come to find you come to search but you won't find the way a pity I cannot help you I only give the questions Brachus has willed it Trompdoy must abide you have met the unfortunate guardian of this vault judge him with a forgiving heart fate has been unkind to him okay. do you wish to move forward listen closely and make your attempt. Brachus is a bloody, rotten, thieving, very, very awful fellow. Some even call him a cur. A cur is. Uh, a very awful, rotten. Rotten, bloody, awful, or very bloody, awful. Is a bloody, rotten, theme, and very, very awful fellow. He is a bloody, rotten. Ooh. Brachus is a uh, B bloody R and so what is a cur? A cur A cur So C is very, U uh, be the final two, so awful fellow, so it'll be awful, very awful, and R is rotten. Very awful, rotten. Either you're very good at guessing or the slightest bit clever. Let's find out for certain. Listen closely and make your attempt. 
Source is a scourge, a devil, a misery, a blight, a hex, a curse. And yet, the cure is... A hex? A misery? A blight? E. A curse. A hex, a misery, a blight, a curse. Perhaps you're not totally incapable after all. Or maybe Trompdoy told you the answers, is that it? Is he hoping you'll... It doesn't matter in any case. The path is open. Go freely. I know little. But you have proven yourself a... Brachus Rex discovered the way. This he researched here, upon this isle. He could remove the source from any creature or individual. I saw the staffs he used myself. They were... Brachus Rex has charged him, tried him, convicted and punished him. I know not the crime, but he has been sentenced to remain in this vault for all time and to prevent others from entering. Trompdoy was and is a creative man. He knew petty magic in his day, but this he has used to carve this. Oh, uh, character, uh, self inventory. You. Yeah. We add one more to scoundrel. Open your eyes. Time Done. As you pick up the ring, you feel a cold, dark pain shoot up through the bones of... You don't hear, but feel a whisper in the cavity that functions as your ear. It... Set cursed. No thanks. 
Um, warfare. Do we want that? Save. That's plenty. Necromancer and soldier purging one supernova gold pile. Part of the tyrant. You made it all this way. I'm. I'm sorry. He trembles and seems to shudder with a quiet. I'm cursed, you know. Bloody Bracus bound me here to protect his vault. As long as the jar stays unbroken, I can never truly die. I don't rightly know. This was the Source King's way. His favor was intoxicating. Really? You. He drops to his knees before you and grabs on. Thank you. Um. More movement gives us wits. Yes, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Yes. The jar before you may have looked opulent once, but no longer. Now, the soul jar rocks slightly, light flashing from underneath its lid. On its rim, you can just barely make out the name Gratiana. As soon as you touch the jar's cracked surface, you see a vision of splendor. Silks, fine food, the vision shifts. You see burning villages, slaughtered women and children. You see her, purging wand in hand. A shadow falls across her, and you see a large, weeping face. She reaches out as if to comfort, but Bracchus drags her back. You see her fall into the mire of the swamp, trapped. As you pull your hand away, you can feel a deep, longing sadness in your soul. Is it regret, or just sadness for a life that used to be? The terrible vision fades. While she lived a selfish life, she seems to have repented. She should be forgiven. Whatever a person may have done in life, they can always be redeemed. Her life was marred by debauchery, greed, and violence. No last mi- The jar sits still. Its gradual soul flits through the air, eyes wild and desperate. She turns to you as her spirit starts to fade from this world. I'm not ready! No, you can't! No! Go. 
identify. Just the right prints. A soul jar rests between two fallen columns, emanating a faint odor of. When you touch the glass, your vision waves. You emerge on the prow of a fine ship. Your armor pulses with enchantment, okay. dominating those who draw near. Your flag flies for Bracchus Rex, a tyrant who traded for your soul. With his power, your flesh and blood is no longer relevant. The vision fades as the soul thrashes, trying to sever your connection. To be soulless is a horrible, empty fate. You seek out Bracchus's vault, but the moment you reach the soul jar, he ensnares you. Thus imprisoned, you can only dream about what is out of reach. Your soul, the vision shatters as the soul squirms away from you, curling up in the bottom of the jar. The soul jar pulses with trapped life force. What remains of the outraged soul molds itself into a defiant skull. Snake! Worm! This jar glitters and glows. With a jerk, your mind is pulled to a scene in a tavern. You see a dwarf in the center of the room, joking us all around raw with laughter. All bar the zombies who are slipping. The door opens, and a tall, beautiful woman stalks into the room. The dwarf mutters a word, and the undead lurch towards the intruder, but are cut down like wheat. As she's dragged away to a tower, you hear her cursing Bracchus Rex and his whore. Even when she's thrown inside, you pull your hand away from the jar, your head swimming. You can feel the dwarf's cold terror still. The vision fades. Ugh, I've rarely seen such cowardice. Keeping the dead as slaves. What a disgusting display. She might seem a little rough, but her heart was clearly in the right place. The jar on the plinth before the pictogram spin to life, and you're dragged into a dream. You see the lizards of the ancient empire turning their backs on you, casting you out into the wilderness. As you roam, the human apes turn away from you, all but one. One smiles, one opens his arms, one says he'll take you home. Bracchus Rex. He promises power for a price. He picks off your golden scales, one by one, stripping you down to the bone. You try to fight, try to reclaim what's yours, but a woman takes you by the hand and leaves. He promised he'd take me home, you cry. You are home, she smiles as she sees you. Your hand drops away from the soul jar. The long dead lizard's visions fade. This is the price of pride and greed. No amount of loneliness excuses wickedness. He helped a monster for selfish reasons. In the end, he was brave enough to fight Bracchus. The pictograms on the jar stand fixed and still. You see a shape emerge from the ruins of the broken jar. A lizard in the finest necromancer. Farewell to flesh. Farewell to bone. Farewell. The soul jar stands on its... You see, or rather, you feel, a far-off land. Frozen breath hangs in the air. Pine needles brush your cheeks. And in your arms, you can feel a weight. A body, dead. But you have hope. Your vision swims. You're older, but perhaps not wiser. You march at the head of a shambling host. The enemies of Bracchus Rex melting before you. 
The scene twists again. Now, Bracca stands before you, a beautiful woman at his side. You lash out in treasonous rage, but cold arms bind you. You feel a jolt and open... The necromancer's memories fade to black, but the feelings remain. Ugh, the memories of a necromancer. Anyone who marches at the head of an undead host deserves... It takes bravery to try and strike down an evil king. The jar stands before you, cold, and a human spirit slips from the ruins of the jar, decked in necromancer robes. My eternal thanks, young one. Oh, tiny death. The jar seems quieter now. It sits, something inside you strains. You are replete. Oh. The jar seems... The jar shatters like... Beautiful. Thank you. My death waits. The deity's head and hands are... This one goes down to move. Wait. Oh, I am looking at his stuff. So, do I want to learn that one? I have to go to. I have to boot up. Okay. Mind. We can't use that. The ring just got tighter. A lot tighter. Yes, right. The ring's gone, but not its curse. That sucks. Um, I don't know why I did that. So we do want to learn that.
Oh, okay. Well, that's simple enough. So, if we do this, this will be the end of the episode. So we click the bless skill. We target ourselves. Bloody ring. It's loose. Get off me and stay off. We got rid of the ring. We got the purging one. Uh, so we end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Until then, bye bye.